please pay attention today to the National Real Estate Cafe with Don Getling and Gino Franti, particularly if you're in your 20s, you're going to get some great advice. All right, you poor, poor millennials. Here you are getting hit again. <laughs> I know. Believe it or not, you millennials are spending 45% of your income on rent before the age of 30. Okay, so here's where the great advice piece comes in. So 45% of income is also the debt to income ratio that you can utilize to buy a home, Don. So if you're spending 45% of your income on rent, why not spend it on owning a home? All right. So basically there was a, you know, they did a little surveys, you know us, we always share the surveys and everything. So it turns out millennials pay about 92,600 rent by the time they're 30. That's right. Almost a hundred grand going out before they are 30. Okay, so I'm going to use a rough calculation here. I don't have my amortization schedule in my pocket. But of that $90,000, if you would have bought a home when you were 22, by the time you were 30, if you spent $92,000 on a mortgage, I would say you'd have 30000 in equity with no appreciation, just from amortization. At least. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to, they did a little fun comparison here, comparing, you know, basically Gen Xers that paid 82200 baby boomers, 71000 How about that? Um, versus the the ninety uh, was ninety two thousand. Ninety two thousand. But that have. number is inflation adjusted, right? Correct. So the most important thing to look at is the percentage that the but, percentage continues to rise. Yeah, but the the thing is, is income should rise the same amount, right? Because nah. you can see your baby boomers paid about thirty six percent of their income towards rent. Uh, Gen X are forty one percent. Millennials now forty five percent, and they're figuring uh, Gen Gen Z. I guess it's the next one's coming. They're going to pay over a hundred grand by the time they're thirty for rent. So what this tells you is that landlords are doing very well because people are afraid to purchase. So the answer is try to buy a home in your 20s when you could take a little bit of risk, when you don't have all this overhead and you won't be stuck renting for the rest of your life. Well, I thought this was uh, interesting because you go, why, why is it? One, of course, you know, millennials are still feeling the pain of uh, the Gen Xers that had to deal with the mortgage meltdown. But also, this is, was interesting. If you see the highlight part, Gino, I put on here, some of the trend can be contributed to many millennials preferring to live in downtown urban areas, paying higher rents rather than buying a home. Oh, that's true, actually. I can and there, see that. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, so what that, that bodes well for condo markets, Don, because people will be buying condos instead of homes. And that's why you get all the multi-use mm -hmm. being going up now. Yeah, they can be buy everything and closer to work also. Yeah, you've got a lot of the, uh, like you mentioned, the uh, would like live work is what exactly. they call it, you know, where you have, uh, your, you could work up, live upstairs in a condo and have your work downstairs. And here's another thing. One of the areas that appreciates uh, inflation more than anything else has been school debt, the, school, the cost of schooling. And you can see school Student debt is another reason holding, holding you guys back. So we get it, but we still believe you need to jump in. Okay. Now, student debt. There are a couple of really, really great student loan ways to deal with student loans coming up right now in the mortgage world. So just because you have student debt doesn't mean that you can't get a mortgage. So if you've been told no and you've been told no due to your, mortgage, uh, due to your student debt, reach out to a professional. There are two or three new programs that help you potentially defer that student debt so you can still qualify to buy a home. All right. You can always reach out to us at donandgino at gmail.com and get these sent right to your phone by texting NREC to the number 58885.